Oh. Ready for this one, guys? The No Door Super Match 5 First Impressions video begins right now. It is dartboard first impressions time. In this video, we'll be taking a close up look at the No Door Super Match 5 dartboard. Now, some of you might be wondering, you might not, but you might be wondering, hey, didn't you just get a brand new dartboard? Well, yeah, I got that one a couple weeks ago. Hopefully you saw the video that I did on it. Hands down, the nicest dartboard I've ever seen. That thing had no imperfections on it. Hands down, the nicest dartboard I've ever played on in my life. I'll be doing an update video on that pretty soon within the next couple of weeks or so, but it's been absolutely amazing so far. I love that board, but why did I buy this thing? Well, let me tell you, uh, probably about a month ago, maybe longer, I was browsing over at Dart Shopper and I happened to see this dartboard. I was looking to buy a new dartboard at the time. This was out of stock. So they have a place where you can enter your email and then when it comes back in stock, they'll, they'll let you know, they'll send you an email and say, hey, it's back in stock. So. That's exactly what happened. This was last week. Got an email from Dart Shopper, said this thing was available to purchase. So check this out. I went to my um, I went to my account over on Dart Shopper. That's when I discovered I had $35 or I accumulated $35 in discount points or whatever it was. So that was a game changer. This board was originally, I think, $54 and some change. There's my order form. Check that out. So with my $35 off discount code ended up paying $32 for this board. I got a King and the Aki flight punch. I gave my old flight punch away, so I needed another one. I don't use them that often, but always nice to have. And got myself a King, uh, King and the Aki set of darts. All in all, you see that there, not a bad deal. $66.85 shipped to my house using the express shipping. Stuff showed up in like three days flat. So Dart Shopper, they're always known for their quick shipping. So, uh, $32 for this board? Mm, I, I don't know if I got a good deal or not because as you're about to see in the next clip, it's not the best looking dartboard I've ever seen. My bullseye's a little bit off center. There is biscuit marks all over the board. Now to be fair, for the last two weeks, I've been looking at the nicest dartboard I've ever seen in my life. So now to see this thing, I don't know, maybe $32 was a good deal, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm not too excited about making this video, but I figure I'd make it anyway, just to show everybody what the No Door Super Match 5 looks like. So let's go into the next clip. I'll show you what the dartboard looks like. I guess we'll measure some segments, then I'll get it hung up on the wall. We'll throw some darts at it. That's gonna be it for the video, but not super impressed with it, to be honest with you. So let's go, Super Match 5. Okay, guys, so you're probably looking at this dartboard now going, oh, what the heck is he talking about? That actually looks pretty good, right? Well, I have to admit, the ink job here is just about as good as it gets. The black is a nice, deep, dark black. We have a vibrant red color, and the green ink looks good. The white segments are okay. And, uh, yeah, as far as the ink job goes, I think it's probably about as good as it gets. But when we get this camera out of the tripod and we take a close-up look, that's when you're going to notice these imperfections. So, yeah, the ink job top-notch stuff there. The other good feature, since this is a no door, pretty much the same thing as a Winmore, obviously, we have the super lock, which is the same exact thing as a roto lock. So those little spinny things on the back, that's a great, great feature. I wish all dartboards had that feature. But yeah, in case you guys didn't know, no door owns Winmore and Red Dragon. So basically all three of those companies, the same thing. I would guess this is about 99.9% .9 equivalent to the Winmore Blade 5 dartboard. So yeah, pretty much the same thing, just with a different ink job. But let me get this camera out of the tripod. We're going to take a close-up look. I'm not going to say too much, but I want your feedback on what you think of the surface of this dartboard looks like. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, so we're going handheld here. We're going to take a close-up look. And again, i got to admit, from here, it looks pretty good. And you know what? When it's hanging on the wall and I'm standing, whatever, seven and a half feet back, it's still going to look pretty good as well. However, when we start going close... That's where all these biscuit marks start showing up and they're they're pretty prominent, I gotta admit. They're just, yeah, I don't know. It, you know, am I, being, uh, am I being too picky here? 
Again, I paid $32 for it, so it's not too bad. Some missing sizal here down by the double two. Paint job's kind of messy. But yeah, for 32 bucks, it's not bad. Would I pay $54 for this? Got some paint splatter here. I'm not sure. If I paid $54, I might not be that happy. A little chunk of missing sizal there. The bullseye, check this out. Look at that big chunk missing here. I guess that's off the 16 segment. And the bullseye itself, we got a massive crack running through the middle of it. And might be hard to tell on video, but that's not perfectly centered. It's kind of kicked up towards 2 o'clock. So I think there was a huge crack in the treble 12. Again, kind of hard to see. Treble 20 looks good. That looks actually perfect, by the way. So yeah, there it is. Let me know what you guys think. I guess it's not too bad for 32 bucks. Maybe I shouldn't complain, but I don't know. It's just kind of hard switching to this thing after I've been playing on the nicest artboard I've ever seen. But let's measure some segments. I'll get this thing hung up on the wall, and that's going to be it for the video. We'll get a 180 in there too, though. Okay, so this always proves to be rather difficult, but let's measure a few of the more popular segments. We're going to start with the 20 segment on the treble 20. That is... I'm sorry it's upside down, but right around 9.3, 9.31 millimeters. The double 20. This might not be perfect, but I mean, it's it's pretty much spot on. Double 20, 9.43 millimeters wide. I guess we'll check the 18 while we're right here. Trouble 18 is, let's see, 9.22. That's kind of... Kind of skinny, but for the most part, these are pretty much spot on from what I'm seeing with other dartboard reviews. Double eight, that's always a popular one. 9.41, double 16, that's probably the most popular double on the dartboard. Oh, look at that. I think it happens to be pretty big, too. 9.51, so that's pretty good. Cover shot on the treble 19. Let's check that out. Well, that one's kind of small. Oh, no, I guess maybe not. 9.30. And finally, the bullseye, usually about, I would say, 32 millimeters across from what I re recall. All right, 31.63 across. And now for the bullseye, usually around 12 plus. All right, 12.76. Hope you can see that. So 12.76 for the bullseye. So that's it for the measurements, guys. Um, let's get this thing hung up on the wall. We've got the roto locks or super locks we're going to put on and get it installed and throw some darts at it. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. We're just going to have a few throws tonight. Nothing serious. And I apologize. I'm, I'm honestly just not really enthusiastic about this video. Remember what I just said in the last clip or a couple clips ago that you really wouldn't be able to see the veins or the, the biscuit marks from back here? Well, yeah, you can. And it, it's really bad, to be honest with you. I mean, I just hung up a brand new dartboard on the wall and it looks to me back here, it looks like it's an old dartboard. I just not really pleased with the looks of it at all. Again, the, the ink job, pretty good. So anyway, we'll just have a few throws. I've got the 17 gram darts from the video on Monday. Popular video, by the way. Thank you for watching that one. That's the thumbnail to the video. So if you haven't seen that, highly recommend it. That was a fun video to make. So a few turns with those. And then I don't know if I have a picture for these. If I do, it'll be over there. 24 gram darts clearance darts. I use these for my match darts most of the year. So we'll just try a few different weights, see how the board sounds. So let's see how this goes. That's in. <laughs> These darts are so narrow, you can't really see where they land. Ooh, 140. You know, they, they don't sink in the board all that much. I mean, it's a light dart anyway, right? Um, it's firm. You know, most dart boards are firm when they get out of the box, but like with the Blade 6 boards, they're firm brand new, but after a month they loosen up so much. So I don't know what this thing's gonna do. I guess that's why it's the first impressions, but it's firm, but it's not that firm. It's not like a 180 G3 or the skipjack board that I have. It's 
got a nice sound to it. I'll give it that. We'll just throw out a few different segments. Bullseye? 25? Yeah, the 25 sounds good. I've got black points here, so the, the darts are sticking in the board just fine. Get the, the color, the ink job looks good, but man, I can't get around those white segments. It looks, if I'm being honest, it looks pretty bad from back here, so. All right, what are we gonna throw at? Uh, 16s, I haven't thrown a 16 yet. Oh, there goes that segment. Do you guys do that? When I get a brand new dartboard, I like to go around and pick off all the segments. That's the first treble 16 on this board. Uh, 25. All right, let's give, we'll give the 24 gram darts a try. And this is kind of more or less to test the sound of it. Sometimes I've noticed with the roto locks or the, with the no door, they call them the super locks, same thing. They can enhance the sound a bit when the dart hits the board. However, with the surround, it, it dampens the noise. So kind of all depends on your setup. Eh, that's, that's pretty quiet, I have to admit. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, I gotta say it's a, it's a fairly quiet dartboard. Let's see, new segment time, 13s, we'll try that. Get in that treble. No, the treble 13 stays new. Never seen a dart yet. All right, a couple, we'll just do a couple more. And you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was no Super Match 4. What, they, they, they skipped one? If you go on Amazon USA, they have a Super Match 3, which in my opinion looks better. So I'm just confused. Why would the Super Match 3 look so good? And then they kind of went backwards with the 5? I, I don't know, guys. And where's the four? Do they skip numbers? Such a bizarre video. <laughs> Bull. 25. We're going to call it there. Well, yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Comment down below. I mean, I did pay $32. Not too bad. Not the end of the day for a dartboard, but would, would you guys pay... $54 for that plus shipping. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this whole video. Let's roll into the 180. And it was kind of funny because you're going to get a sneak peek at some custom darts. I was switching out the flights. I was putting the flights on first throw 180. So I'll probably include the little flight switch out. 180, we'll do a quick wrap up and let's get out of here. There it is, the first 180 on the brand new dartboard. Boom! Oh, and consider yourself lucky. That's the first sneak peek at the custom set of darts, one of the custom sets of darts that I plan to sell in the somewhat near future anyway. So there is your first look. Pretty nice, right? So a great place to end the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed a close-up look at the No Door Super Match 5. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And reminder, link down below to Dart Shopper. That, um, that link will take you over and you can grab yourself a No Door Super Match 5 if you want. But yeah, let me, uh, let me know what you thought of the video. And again, let me know if you thought I was being a little bit too picky. But man, I just I don't like the veins. They're just so prominent, especially from back here. I mean, I, I just looks, I hung up a brand new dartboard, but it looks old already, if that makes sense. But hey, that's it for the video, guys. Um, I guess that's about it. We'll see you Friday. Might do an unboxing, might have another review, and 
I'm going to show you these custom six sets of custom darts I had made. So we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, I missed. I missed. Later.